All right, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to Bearded Brad. I'm getting everything ready right now. We're about to head out, go meet up with Jonathan, go run a trip out on the beach. I do do guided fishing, I do do. <laughs> I do guided fishing trips down here on the Alabama Gulf Coast now. So if you're coming down this way, hit me up. We'll take you out and do some surf fishing. But uh, we're gonna try to get on some redfish. Got the Carolina rig, got the Carolina, got the Carolina rig rigged up. We're gonna try to get on some redfish. Got the Carolina rig rigged up in there. I'm uh, gonna stop and get some bull minnows on the way to the beach. We also got some uh, Southeast Pompano rigs rigged up as well. Gonna see if we can find some Pompano while we're out there. But we're gonna be using some fresh dead shrimp, a little bit of fish gum, except the bull minnows also. Hopefully we can find some samples when we get out there, but hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so now. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Guys, yeah, gonna see if we can find some sand fleas out here by the jetties. Got three decent ones in the first scoop. I'll take it. A decent amount of grass right here in the past. Hopefully, it's not so bad on the side we're gonna fish, but we'll see. Definitely don't want to get stuck battling the grass all afternoon. It has been a mess. Y'all saw in one of the last videos, we actually had to pack it up and move spots because of the grass. But this is the spot we moved to. What I'm hoping is all the grass is coming in the pass from the west. And we are going to be fishing the east side. So let's hope it won't be so bad over there. a decent scoop there heck yeah probably got 10 or so in that one that's more like what we're used to a couple more like that will be good to go there we go ah, I dropped one a couple more there if you're like me and you keep these in your pocket while you're scooping make sure you get them all out at the end of the trip the wife isn't usually very happy about finding sand fleas in the laundry. I would say that was a successful trip to the jetties, getting sand fleas. I'll show y'all what we got when we get back over here to the cart. All right, see if y'all can see that down there. Decent amount of them hanging out. Uh, we probably got 20 or 30 or so of them. Should be enough. If not, jetties are just right there. We can get us some more, but. I was gonna go ahead and get this first rig out. We got the green and white Salty's Pompano rig. A little sand flea and fish gum on here. Jonathan made his way out. Gonna try to get him on some Pompano today. Hoping we can stay away from the grass. All right, if you see a hit and I'm not paying attention or doing something else, feel free to grab it. Um, I do set the drag pretty loose, so when you, when you get it, you may have to tighten the drag just a little bit. But when it's a little rougher like this, it can be kind of tricky to tell because those waves moving it back and forth it's easy to think it's a bite usually usually it's gonna well kind of like it just acted it's gonna bounce a little bit but that's that that current pulling it back and then letting it let go of it but if it like doubles over or if you see that line go slack and drop to the ground the fish hitting it and swimming it in so just keep an eye on it see if we can get something all right next set up i got some fresh dead shrimp a little bit of fish gum. I am using the secret weapon fish gum today. And the last rig. I got the yellow pompano rig. Again, shrimp and fish gum on this one. TFO rod can freaking sling some baits. There is so much freaking grass over here. We can't even keep lines in the water. I get full of grass and wash on down the beach. This one washed over into the jetties while I was trying to clean up another rod. Y'all look at all that grass right there. Can't even keep a line in the water. 
All right, guys, well, the beach was a bust. There was a ton of grass out there by the jetties, so we had to pack it up, call it a day over there. But we're coming out here to the pier. Gonna see if we can get Jonathan on some Spanish. Got a couple buddies out here. They said the bite's been decent, so we're gonna make our way to the end. See if we can get on something. Maybe a school of Jackson Reds come through. Hopefully we can get them hooked up on something, but y'all stick around and see what we get into. Got yeah, a first fish on here at the pier. Little lady fish. Anybody keeping them? Where you want it? Right here? Yeah, man. Dang wind. If you see any of them kind of swimming up, chasing it, just kind of slow it down, maybe drop it for a second, see if they'll grab it, or just work it real slow. Sometimes I'll run up and get it then. <laughs> for sure. You didn't know you were coming to get your exercise today, did you? Bunch of walking, bunch of casting. I got them all right there. There he goes. I think we got another lady fish. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff to see out here. There's another one. That looks like a little hard too. Not the fish we're after. Dang thing, cut my toe. Dang, fish came out and fed me and cut my toe open. Oh <laughs> Is that what they call my hard toe? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Grant got me all tangled up. You got me tangled up. <laughs> I thought it was a ladyfish for a second. I was going to let that shark mess with it. But I saw it was a Spanish. I was like, I can't lose that one. I'm going to throw this one in the cooler. Check out that Spanish there. How many of them get it? Get it. There he is. See if a shark wants to mess with it. Where's a shark? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Give me my lower back. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get it back to you, bro. <laughs> 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 got something back. Hey, look at there. I got it all back. Uh, See how close you can get to me, bro? Mm -hmm. I ain't seen you catch a fish all day. This fuck is <laughs> 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 You're like, dude, there's so many fish out here. I'm like, you got any in the cooler? You're like, no. I gave him there he is. There he is. That was a Spanish right there. I gave him all the weight. Uh huh. Like six of them. Done. Big ones. Like you Oh, there we go. There we go. Nope. Don't. Don't do it. That's a Spanish, too. Yeah. Dolphin's trying to get it this time. <laughs> Set this rod down, I'll get it. Let's try to make a mess of it now. Bloody dude. Jonathan got hooked up now. They got hooked up. Alright, bring it around this way. 
Yeah, and try to just fight it and keep. Let's try to keep it on this side so we don't mess with all them people if we can. There he is. Work him. Ay, 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 Jacob. We'll get another one. Alright, what's up guys? We are back at the house now. About to fry up some of this Spanish. We got a little bit of heart healthy corn oil. I don't know how heart healthy and frying up some fish is, but that's what we got. We're gonna just get this heated up here. Got a little bit of Louisiana fish fry here. I did throw in a little bit of the crawfish boil. If you've seen a couple of my last videos, you know that crawfish boil was pretty dang good with the fried fish. So that's what we're going to try. We're going to mix it up with the Louisiana seasoning in there. Alright, I have had the fish soaking in a little bit of milk and some hot sauce. I'm about to take it out, put it over here with the mix. We got, like I said, a little bit of Louisiana fish fry and some crab boil. So we're going to try that out. Got the oil heating up over there. Again, supposedly heart healthy oil if there's such thing, but about to toss these fish into the seasoning and I will catch y'all when we dump them in the oil. All right guys, while we're waiting on this to heat up, I would love to hear from y'all. We had some pretty crappy surf fishing weather. So about two weeks ago or so, we had a huge wind storm. Surf was like 10 foot or so. It was pretty crazy out there, but now we are battling the June grass. I've actually had to cancel multiple trips because it's just not even fishable to go out there. So I've been trying to get out and get some video for y'all. So I've been doing a lot more pier fishing. I'm going to be doing some jetty fishing. I've been going out on the boat a little bit more with my buddy Rusty. I just want to hear from y'all. What kind of things are y'all interested in seeing? If surf fishing is rough like it has been recently, what do you like to see me do? Do y'all like to see me go out and hit the pier and catch these jacks or Spanish and stuff like that? Do you want to see me hit the jetties? Did you like the mangrove snapper on the seawall? Just comment down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions or anything that you do like to see me target. Of course, we want to, we want to switch it up. I got to keep bringing y'all fresh content every week. So when surf fishing is tough, it makes it tough to do a surf fishing video. So y'all let me know what you want to see. Looks like the oil is getting warmed up there. We're going to give it a few more minutes. Got the fish tossed in the seasoning there. Oh, this is going to be good. A little bit of fish fry, a little bit of crab boil. Can't be bad. I need Freddy to come back. Freddy went out of town. He is in California. He had to go see his girlfriend. She graduated from school, so he's out there visiting her. He usually helps me film these catch and cooks. Makes it a lot more difficult when I gotta do it by myself. So, Freddy, if you're watching this, hurry up, come back. I need some help. If y'all do like these catch and cooks, let me know. I've not had like tons of success with them. They're pretty fun to do. Uh, I'm switching it up, doing some different stuff on the channel, but if you do like it, Make sure you comment down below and say, please do some more catch and cooks. I'd love to hear from y'all. Alright guys, looks like the oil is starting to heat up. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of this fish. Toss it over here in the fryer. Ooh. Big old piece right there. That is going to be good. We're going to give it a few minutes. Let it sizzle. Toss it around a little bit. Anytime y'all have gone out fishing, whether it's saltwater or freshwater, what is your favorite fish to cook? Y'all comment down and let me know. Do y'all like crappie? All you freshwater guys up there, I know crappie is one of the best fish. One of the best freshwater fish. So comment down below, let me know, is it crappie? Is it freshwater catfish? It's probably not Spanish mackerel, however, that's pretty dang good. But y'all let me know, what is your favorite fish to cook? Love hearing from you guys. Got this Spanish mackerel cooking up over here. I told y'all Freddie couldn't be here with us today. He's in California, but we got him on FaceTime. We got the fish cooking up here, but 
having to film by myself, but there he is. And his girlfriend. I already told him that y'all gra she graduated, so that's why you're not here today, but. <laughs> what are you cooking today? Got some Spanish mackerel. Oh, man. Wicked. All right, got the fish pulled out the fryer, and it looks freaking delicious. About to give it a try here. All right, anytime you use a fish fry, it is with a little cornmeal, so it's definitely crispier. That was super crispy. I've had this fish fry before. That Kelton hanging out over here. Throwing in that uh, crab oil. Gives it a nice little kick. I've used a lot of that Louisiana uh, fish fry. That crab boil gives it a nice little kick to it. Nothing too crazy at all. Well, it's super crispy, way crispier than doing the flour. So if you do like your fish a little crispier, definitely use that fish fry. That stuff's freaking good. Really, really. Man, that is, that's just some good fish. If you have not tried Spanish mackerel, it really is a good fish. Especially if you bleed it when you catch it, cook it same day. Super good fish. I've cooked a lot of it. This is not my first time having it. This is my first time using it with that Louisiana fish fry. Man, it makes it super crispy. That crab boil gives it a nice little uh, kick to it. But I definitely recommend that. If y'all did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Helps me out a ton. Comment down below. Let me know if you like the catch and cooks. Check out this video right here. Another catch and cook we got coming up for you. And until next time, y'all take care. <laughs>